This is the video for Unit 1, Chapter 1, Lesson 6. So again, start with Modules and then scroll down till you find Lesson 6, which is on using indents and tables. Always start with the overview, unless you're, I'm not showing you these walkthrough video pages because that's where you're getting this video from. But you would go to the overview and uh, it says here there's just an assignment and that's it. But there's several pages, there's several lesson pages. So it's like, how do I end it text? So click next. And here's the lesson page on um, GCF. So I like to click right there. And then again, go through this lesson. All right, there's a video and all of the information you need to teach you how to do this assignment. So all right there. So if you've got questions on how to do this assignment, that's where you need to go. This is a short video on hanging indents and how to do that in Google Docs. You should be able, you should watch that. And you can see that's a lesson. And then here's your tab stop. So a left tab stop, a center tab stop, and a right tab stop. You're going to be using these tab stops in the assignment. Click next and here's your assignment page. So just like we've been doing before, click on it, make a copy. These are your directions, and there's a template link. So here's all the directions. When you're done with this one, your document is going to look like this. So I always give you an example of what it's going to look like. But you've got to follow all these directions one by one. So we give you the template. You don't have to create this. You're just editing it. So I have four tabs open, my canvas, my directions, so canvas, my directions, my template that I'm going to change, and then I have the GCF if I need help over here on how to do all these different um, types of indents. Okay, so that'd be, that's helpful to have. So I'm going to go back to my copy of the assignment. I'm just going to highlight this and put in my name, Kathy. All right, and Here's everything. I've got to edit this and then I got to type in some information. So again, you're just going to follow these directions. And uh, when you're done, and when it looks like this, then you're going to upload to Canvas. So let's just pretend that I'm done. So I come over to Canvas, click Start Assignment, go to my Google Drive, and go find it. So I'm going to type in Kathy and dash and using indents and there it is so you would do that after you finish and submit your assignment that is it for lesson six